again. This is where I reside, where I keep all things hidden, and only show when the moon hides the sun. Do you know that moment when you are experiencing or about to experience a spiritual awakening and you are like so excited and you think that finally I am going to experience a spiritual awakening where I finally feel all the joy, the happiness and the light of the world and then guess what? Bam! The tower happened. Hello lovely beings, welcome back again to my channel Amorinet. If you are new here, then hello, my name is Cindy Antoinette and for today, this is actually kind of a continuation video to the first one which was about shadow work. And since today we are going to be talking about the dark night of the soul which is a part of a spiritual awakening trigger, I actually created a video some you know, few weeks ago or maybe even it's like a month ago. I think it's been a month ago or so in my channel specifically about spiritual awakening trigger and the many many aspects of it and how you can be more aware how you can prepare yourself either way a few days ago before i recorded this exactly on june 21st there was a very powerful solar eclipse that happened which i do felt that intense overwhelming energy that was such a major trigger for even more massive spiritual awakening around the world after all of the chaotic things that's been going on. For those of you who are going through this, because let me tell you, I know the dark night of the soul, no joke, okay? No joke. This is the real deal. Also, but just keep in mind, just a little bit of disclaimer before I start this video, I myself not a psychologist i am not a licensed therapist but i very much care a lot about mental health awareness i really love psychology i learn a lot about it and i did a lot of research and so i just want to say that quite a lot of this dark night of the soul experiences may have also you know affected by somebody's depressive moments or manic moments in their life as well. I would still recommend you to do your own research and if you feel that you do need help then go please seek a professional help. You can find a holistic healer, a hypnotherapist, a therapist or psychologist, anybody that you can truly trust, okay? It is very important because let me tell you going to the dark net of the soul, trigger warning, some people may even go through such heavy suicidal moments in their life and so this video can be you know heavy and dark but i just want to share with you what you can also do for yourself in the meantime when you are going through this because i went through the dark night of the soul as well myself so i want to give you with some tips first to start this video on how you can deal with this okay with this whole dark night of the soul like i said first and foremost is for you to ask yourself and please be honest do you really need help or can you handle it alone especially do you think that you may have some mental illness or issue because for me personally i do have mental illness and back then five years ago if i would you know if i would have the chance to to get a professional help i would totally do so and if you also have other friends or maybe try to find new friends that can understand you better maybe find a spiritual community that is even better because that can be very very supportive now number two is for you to take a look at the things in your life that you can change it could be your lifestyle it could be the way that you think or that you feel about a certain thing maybe it's about your financial mindset maybe it's a mindset about love relationship about friendship okay there are a lot of things to this and shadow work often happens when you are going through this dark night of the soul 
Now another thing that you can do for yourself is to take a lot of salt bath because salt has this very high vibrational energy that it really does cleans out any negative energy, any clinging you know, energy that is attaching itself onto you. This can come from other situations, people and whatnot. And also the fact that salt really does kill bacteria. So spiritually, mentally and physically, salt is very healing. It's a great tool for cleansing. So I highly recommend you to go and do a salt bath. If, by the way, you can get a Himalayan salt lamp, that can also work. Other than that, what I personally love to work together is with crystals, of course. I love clear quartz, rose quartz, lapis lazuli, um, moonstone, selenite. Those are amazing crystals for spirituality, for intuition, for healing, for awareness, and so on. And so I would say for you to just find whichever tool that will work best for you. But for, for me, I mean, in my own experience, I do notice that working with anything that is of nature, of, you know, earth element is really helpful. Whether I would like to go out to the park or, you know, do a sun bath, a grounding ritual, which is basically you walking barefoot on the ground and make sure that you are touching the ground, your feet is touching the grass, for example, or you going out to a beach to maybe hiking if you can just connect with nature and if you cannot go out then you can bring in some flowers bringing some plants into your room into your house that can also really help now i want to get a little bit more into what is it really like to experience the dark night of the soul now i would say that the dark night of the soul is literally this turning point a 180 degree turning point in your life for example i have seen people that went through such a harsh divorce or that they have to go out from they have to maybe even run away from a very abusive relationship a very abusive friendship for example they had to deal with a lot of manipulative and toxic and even narcissistic people and suddenly they lose their job and then they become homeless or maybe they just lose a lot of people in their life nobody understands them and they feel like an outcast and then they lose their passion or they experience a certain illness or a certain accident for example so all of these things are you can say quite extreme things or even to the extreme things that somebody can experience so suddenly all at the same time in their life and in this cocoon of darkness there there comes the light you know there comes the light from within you and so this dark night of the soul journey is about you going through this dark night you know this darkness actually just like shadow work so that you can finally find the hidden light and the hidden truth within yourself i'm going to share this with you for the first time that i was very suicidal back then and i can say this right now because I already gone through a lot of things to help myself to heal myself and I do get therapy as well and I'm very very lucky and grateful that now I do have the friends that support me and understand me and they truly love me I remember at the end of 2014 basically you know it's, it's a personal thing but I can say that at the end of 2014 basically I received some news about some things and some people that really really broke me down and then for the next two or three years so that's like up to the end of 2016 that was the dark night of my soul being like the most depressed moments in my life and i just you know experienced a lot of shitty things i lost my passion in my art and i just felt like everything is crumbling down and not just that i actually lost some people in my life 
and at that time throughout those years I literally had no one when I say no one not even anybody from my family not even anybody from my friend circle truly understand or even know the deep things that I am experiencing at that time there was just a lot of crazy mental issues and emotional breakdown mental breakdowns that i experienced back then and so i'm sharing this with you so that you can also take this as an example and for you to also learn lessons so from me so that you can be more aware what you can do as quickly as possible before you tumble down too far into the darkness before that you feel that you're life is over that the world is ending you know before you feel that way so you can quickly pick yourself back up or again like i said ask for help find the right therapist or you know just about anybody can that can truly help you because back then if i could have the chance to find the right therapy the right help for me i would totally do so but sadly back then and I mean, even up until now, sadly, I still live in an environment where a lot of people still had bad stigma about mental illness. Somebody that maybe has autism, a borderline personality disorder, or bipolar, or split personality, depression, you know, things like that. The people at where I live sadly still have quite a bad stigma around that and so like i said please 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 be honest with yourself if you find this whole journey is too heavy please ask for help and i know it's not easy like i said especially for those of you that may experience the same thing like i do maybe you feel you have a lot of insecurity you feel a lot of fear and worry because those belief system has been imprinted deep within you but you have to know that you are not alone in this journey you don't have to be alone and there is nothing wrong in asking for help i would just say that it's it's painful you know and it's painful but it is going to teach you a lot of lessons and i know this whole spiritual awakening can be very very intense it can be very overwhelming and again like i said there are many things you can do for yourself there are many things that you can improve and change for yourself your lifestyle you can also take a look at the people around you that are very toxic or manipulative and you need to cut away you know you have to cut them away but like i said please ask for help and actually i also do want my youtube channel to be a community for all of you to you know have a chat with each other as well in the comments so that you can also connect and find other people that you fight with because i know that this journey can feel very dark and lonely and very very you know stressful as well okay so that is the video for today if you haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe and click the bell ring so you won't miss any notification i will definitely be back again with more videos with more art as well and so if you are interested in purchasing any available painting pieces from me or a personal commission you can also just check out my website and instagram at amorinet okay all information is down below i will see you soon again much love mm -hmm.